A $9 million maintenance project is now underway for the JFK Causeway, and already traffic is backing up. People trying to get home from a highly anticipated playoff football game tonight is making it worse. Our Seth Kovar reports the experience could be a preview of what spring break could look like. Living on North Padre Island has its perks. Fishing trips are common for Michael Manigold, as are trips across the JFK Causeway to go shopping. Most of the stores out here, they charge a little bit more than the stores in town, so it's nicer to go in town so you can save a little bit. But with the bridge down to one lane in both directions right now, he'll pay for the money saved with time lost. After seeing all the construction that's been backed up, it's, it's been pretty hectic trying to get in and off the island. As workers put up the final barrier, so begins a construction project that's going to take a long time and cause lots of traffic. So much so, these folks might stop crossing over to visit the island. I won't come out here if this is still going on. No way. No way. We'll find someplace else to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one weekend for the Beach to Bay Marathon, traffic will be limited to one lane in each direction until the end of May. Then all lanes will be open during hurricane season, with two lanes closing again at the end of November. TxDOT hopes to have the project finished by the spring of 2023, but until then, they ask for your patience. I feel for them. They're working, it seems like, on every street in town right now. So, yeah, <laughs> we, we really feel for them. But what about when thousands of people flock here when school lets out for a week in a few months? Spring break, it's probably going to be incredibly bad. Like, there's probably going to be a lot of cars stacked up here. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.